I've been reading literature on this Lamash too. And this wonderful cult that I think is the one that, you know, killed Madeline or didn't kill Madeline. It's just really confusing. But I found something really fascinating in the textual newspapers. And that was the fact that Madeline's parents were kind of involved in the occultic, I guess, community. So, just, you know, throwing things out there that, you know, really probably isn't what happened, but still it's speculation, is I think that she was supposed to be killed, but she wasn't. And then her parents finished the job. Because that would be the only reason they count for the, the, you know, the stairs being involved. Even though these stairs have nothing to do with it. And the, the dates that aren't accurate compared to the newspaper girl articles I, I had. And this cult that basically wanted to end the entire world. I really think they might be getting what they want. Because not only do I, I mean, I hear this this crazy sound here occasionally. I mean, it's outside. Even the guy across the way said he heard it. I'm waiting to see. Maybe I'll hear something tonight. I just thought I would record to kind of, you know, talk about this because I mean I gotta get it off my mind it, it's gonna drive me a little crazy I don't know what do you guys think because to me that's I mean I'm doing a documentation of all of this stuff. And. I mean that's the only thing I can come up with. The logic. Anything's gonna happen. I mean, all I hear is a train out in the distance. I don't hear any crazy noises or anything because it normally happens around this time every night. Hear the dish doing the the dryer off in the distance where I'm doing a little hungry, but nothing. See, it doesn't seem, I mean, it seems to be coming from up here, but it's not. It's like it's coming from everywhere. Almost everywhere. Now it seems like it's coming from downstairs. noise. It's 
gone too. You're walking around with the camera and things come up behind you and start grabbing your arms, trying to rip the camera out of your hand. That, that's the freaky thing. That, that just happened. The mash too. Demon serpent of the underworld. Under the dominion of the other thing. Do you hear me? What do you want? Are you Madeline? Are you and Madeline and Lash do the same? What does a demon like you want from me? What are all those noises?
Turn on now. What the hell? What the This is Got some black crap all over me. What is that? What is that? It's in both my arms. 
What the crap is this stuff? That's like dust. That's my face too. I didn't leave the chairs like that. Tired. Stuff on my arms. <laughs> God knows what that is. Really quick. Blown out. Whew. Let's sit down for a second. Something say Lamash do, Lamash do. And it says some of the weird stuff. Something about a ritual. At least that's what it sounded like. Right, right, right. Some, something of that. Is your, uh, man, my head is hurting so bad.
I'm just gonna take a break. I don't know what happened or what's going on, but I'm just gonna sit down and take a break. I found some very interesting EVPs on the last tape, and I thought I would share them with you. And uh, the first one is odd just in the f sense of what it sounds like. It sounds like something gurgling, and I'm going to play some of these backwards and forwards and at half speed and at double full speed so you can hear this. But um, this is the first one. It sounds like it's something gurgling. And then the next one will just knock your socks off because, you know, I, I don't know what it means, but I'll let you hear it. Here's the first one. Maybe the mic over there so you can hear it. Okay, that's it going at normal speed. This is it going backwards at full. I mean, at, at double double the normal speed rate. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Backwards at double the normal speed. It sounds like something gurgling. Now the one that really blew me away is this one because right before you see the the whatever it is with a bunny mask or horns or I'm not sure because even on the the image the image screws up there but I don't know some sort of creature it's, it's got to be associated with the, the mash too and all this other stuff but let me um let me play this forward, and then I'm going to play it backwards, and then you listen to what it says. This is it forward. I move it over a little bit more so you can hear it. Okay. Now I'm going to play it backwards. One more time. Now, to me, the first time it sounded like we were coming December 21st, and then when I just played it again, it sounded like we're still coming December 21st, so that really makes my skin crawl. Okay, what was that? Oh, let me get the camera. Something is behind me. <sighs> oh shoot, how the crap did I get there? I didn't put that there. This thing's been missing for like two days.
December 14th and I grabbed the camera because I was down here and I started hearing weird things. <laughs> Whoa! Where the crap did that come from? <sighs> okay, that was not there earlier. freak myself out by something happening when it touches. <laughs> okay, I did not leave that camera there. I haven't even been down here but for a second. That was a little bit earlier when I heard that and I grabbed the camera right after it. That can't be right. The time's off. Shouldn't be anything on this camera. I four minutes this drive and it was actually just recorded. Just a little bit ago. What the crap? Okay. Let me play it. What is that? What is that? This is really uh, creepy, man. Yeah. Stop! That sounds like me. I didn't... I didn't do it. Do this. That's creeping me out because I, that sounds like me and looks like my hand and I was not down here doing this. <laughs> that thing's laughing. It's almost December 21st. 
nothing's happened yet. It's about, it's like two minutes before noon, 12. Set the clock on this. Everything is leading to whatever is going to happen in about another minute or so. nuts. It's going nuts. here at all. What is that noise? What is it? It's coming from outside. It's coming from outside. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see anything. I can't see. I can't see.
Hi guys and welcome to the question and answer video from my online found footage series on YouTube called The Haunting. In this video I take several of your questions you ask me in the end review video last week and answer each and every single one of them for you. And yes, this is an iPod in my hand and I'm using this so I can see your questions so I can answer them correctly. Now, thanks everyone for all the questions and the comments on the last video. Just to let you know, I will be releasing the Lost Tapes for the Haunting series starting next Friday on January 25th, and I've got a grand total of seven Lost Tapes that be, will be released on a weekly basis, and I hope you enjoy every single one of them. Now, please help me promote these videos by sharing them with your friends, commenting on them, making video responses for them, anything you can possibly think of that will help to promote these videos. Now, one question I have for you guys, and you can answer in the comments below. Would you rent here on YouTube a 30 minute short film based on the Haunting series? It would still be a horror tale, of course, but it would not be free. And I'm thinking about making them rental around $3. Also, I'd like to do a Kickstarter project for Sister Mary. It would really help me out with financing that project, uh, which I've been working on uh, all this week. Can I count on you guys for support if I did do a Kickstarter campaign on the new Sister Mary project? Let me know your thoughts as a fan. Now for the part you've been waiting for. Here's a question that I've been asked over and over and over again. This is from Rice Dream 3 who writes, who played Madeline Longacre? Is it your wife? No, Madeline Longacre was played by my daughter and uh, she's actually here right now. She's gonna come in for a second and say hi. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> she showed up on the video there for you. That is Madeline. Okay, now the next question. Cat Monroe 71 writes, please do release the Lost Tapes. I really enjoy the series. I was curious as to the end of the series. We don't actually see him die, but it is implied that he does. Is this the case? Well, thanks for the question, and yes, at the end of the video, he is the first one to die. The ending was created for a total apocalypse type scenario with the demon coming into the world and the end of the world happening, and uh, basically the demon taking over, and hell on earth, all this good, bad stuff happening in the video. That's what was supposed to happen. Now the next question is from Evan S10J who writes, in tape 20, was the skeleton real or some plastic model from a science shop? Wait, wait, here it is, here it is. It's from a Halloween shop. The prop was really from a Halloween store that we bought some stuff uh, that Halloween for. I had to modify it a bit and there's the, the head and, and there's this but uh, it worked out pretty well in that video. So that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it for that. Now Insomniac with no life writes, yes, release the Lost Tapes. As for my question, the only one I really have is why we never see the ghost's face and why the heck did the guy open the stupid bottle? I took the questions, well actually I took the cues from Ringo and the Tales of the Banshee by never really showing her face. If you see her face, she would die like in the Banshee Tales, or at least that's what I want you to believe in your fear of Madeline. As for the bottle, that question is gonna be answered in one of the Lost Tapes, so stay tuned for that one. Mike Kevin 001 commented with the question, why have the ghost a bunny face? The bunny mask was kind of a last add to the series. I wanted a goat, but I got a bunny and it was to bridge the gap between Lamashtu, who was the demon god, and Madeline. It was to show that she and it were basically the same creature and that Madeline was a deception of who she was. So that's kind of why I did it that way. Now, Zirnifer writes, what were your thoughts when people started arguing in the comments about the videos uh, real or fake? Well, I just thought I was a pretty damn, damn good director. <laughs> the series was created to be a found footage series and to have the appearance of being a real documentary uh, film. However, many people, even after I told them in the last video, still think the series is not a movie. <laughs> it's kind of like people asking if Jurassic Park is real or not. So that kind of makes me feel like I did a really good job with the production's presentation. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Now for the last question from 
Christopher Brolin. He writes, I have a question. Have you had any actual ghost encounters? Well, I have had something happen to me I can't explain. I heard footsteps one time when there was nobody there. Mm. No, really, I was in a so-called haunted hotel in a room where a woman in white is reported to roam around the room. And I was laying on the bed when I heard footsteps walk into the room right up to the edge of the bed, but nobody was there. And I couldn't find a single logical explanation for it. So it was kind of crazy. Now, wow, you guys had some really great questions and I wish I had enough time to answer all of them in this video. But thanks again for submitting them and stay tuned next week for the Lost Tapes. <laughs>